every day in life is beautiful. Every day. It's beautiful. To the residents of this small apartment building in North London, Alice Summer is the lady in number six. My world is music. I am not interested in anything else. The music is so beautiful. Alice lives alone. She still has her health, and at 109, she feels she's the luckiest person alive. I love people. I love everyone. I love people. I love to speak with them. I, I'm interested in the life of other people. Beethoven. He is a miracle. His music is not only melody, what is inside, what is inside, how it's filled, it's full, it's intensive. The remarkable Alice Sommer, at 109, the oldest Holocaust survivor in the world. She was 39 when she and her little boy Rafi arrived in the strangest place in the entire concentration camp system, Theresienstadt, a feeder camp for Auschwitz, where Jewish celebrities and intellectuals were used by the Nazis for propaganda purposes. These images were filmed to show the world how well the Jews of Europe were being treated. Starving prisoners were allowed to compose and give concerts. I can say uh, without hesitation that the cello saved my life because I knew what was going on in Auschwitz. So I arrived really preparing to go in the gas chamber. I mean, that was Auschwitz, was gas chambers. Instead of that, when I arrived there, um, it's a sort of ceremony, uh, you know, people take your clothes off you and shave your head and tattoo a number on your arm. And this is all done by prisoners. And one of these said, what's your name and where do you come from? And, what did you do before you were arrested? And like an idiot, I said, I used to play the cello. I mean, you know, really ridiculous thing to say. And she said, oh, fantastic. You'll be saved. I knew that we will play. And I was thinking, when we can play, it can't be so terrible. The music, the music. music, even thinking of music made me happy. One of the greatest philosophers said, music is in the first place of art. It brings us on an island with peace, beauty and love. Music is, is a dream. Music is a dream. Ah, here they are. Ah, so how is it going? My Sunday friend. She comes oh, every Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> 
Zdenka and Anita stop by regularly to visit their friend. A pianist, an actress and a cellist. They all survived the camps. In Theresienstadt, Alice played over a hundred concerts, performing all of Chopin's etudes from memory. That was my first time, actually, I have had all Chopin's etudes. And I remember Alice sitting on the stage. I was in about third row and saw her from the right profile. And I was quite captivated. It, it was magic to hear this music in that kind of surrounding. It was a, a moral support. It was not entertainment, as most people think, that we were having fun. It, it had a much bigger value. I felt that this is the only thing which helps me to, to have hope. It is sort of religion, actually. Music is, is God. In difficult times, you feel it, especially when you are suffering. Alice's faith in music was an inspiration to her son, Raffi. He sang in Theresienstadt's children's opera, Brundibar. And sustained by his mother's natural optimism, he too survived. So the people who were sitting in the audience, and we on stage, we were transported into a different time. The time before when we lived in a normal civilized life, civilized world, and hoping and being convinced that the war will soon finish, and we'll go back home, and it will go on. But of course, what we knew later, the Germans knew full well that we are sentenced to death and thought, let them play, let them laugh. The laughter will soon vanish from their face. And we were dancing under the gallows. My father always used to say the very wise words, put as much as you can into your heads because that's something nobody can take away from you. And I think that is so very, very true. And I think this is where music comes in, the importance of music, because you can actually have music in your head without anybody knowing it is happening. You can actually go into another world, which is a lot nicer than the world we're actually living in. I knew that even in this very difficult situation, there are beautiful moments. It doesn't exist anything in our world, only bad. Even the bad is beautiful, I would say. Even the bad is beautiful. It has to be. When you are knowing that you will play in the evening, the concert, and people old, terribly ill people came to this concert and became young. It is a mystery that when the first tone of music starts, it goes straight away in our soul. I loved to play. We should thank Bach, Beethoven, to Brahms, to Schubert, to Schumann. They gave us beauty, they gave us undescribable beauty. They made us laugh. 
happy. Only when we are so old, only <laughs> we are aware of the beauty of life.